Right, part four, or part three, I can't remember now. Crafty Cockney back here. I thought I'd come back, I said I would, and show you it once I'd actually started the oiling process and everything. So, um, let's give you a look at it. So, I've used a linseed oil, which is boiled, okay? It's probably one of the best protections of um, wood for external ample furniture that you can use. I mean, you use it, a lot of bladesmiths use it for their handles um, and um, cricketers use it to, really it's all, all, all the bats and really that's what this bit of timber is made out of a piece of willow but yeah from a discarded lump of timber in the forest that was gonna just sit there and rot and do nothing it's gonna make an excellent little footstool but also a great little exercise in actually how to use your hand tools and really that's what that's what I'm all uh, about I'm at that age now where I can't go and work out on site the body's knackered and I can't last all day anywhere because the body's knackered the spine's knackered so I thought well, actually maybe I can pass my skills on to someone so if this does you know um, affect you and you want to um, change your career you're not happy where you are or you just want a hobby or are you a youngster girl boy and you want to get into the construction industry or you want to get into carpentry and joinery I will start from the basics okay I'll start from the basics and um, if it goes well um, you will enjoy it if you don't I've given someone a little bit of um, insight in what it was like in the old days to get trained as a carpenter from the basics, learning with the hand tools, what happens when the power goes off. So um, stay tuned and if it goes well, um, you're going out of it, I'll go out of it. So um, let's see, this is the Crafty Cockney, see you later, bye.